Hey, uh, I'm the choir director. Um, this is Alterman, yes. For, yeah. Uh, so, before I hand out my awards, um, I, kind of, I really want to spend a moment and recognize my entire chamber choir because. Effort. Really, what makes a great choir is when they can take those individual talents and come together as a group and um, and accomplish something great. And I really feel like we've done that this year. I worked with these guys really hard. We performed all over the valley and traveled, and we went to our first festival this year, um, graded festival in Flagstaff, the NEU Jazz and Magical Festival, and we're able to earn uh, excellent ratings both in jazz and magical categories. So. I'm really proud of these guys for that effort and coming together as a team to do that. I also want to um, have four of my seniors stand and be recognized. Um, we, we had four choir members earn a distinction, which was more than any other category. So I started to worry that maybe I made it too easy, but really, they're just that good. We had some very dedicated, hardworking, involved seniors this year. Um, so the four seniors who earned distinction, our Nathan Smith, Kira Walterman, Cheyenne Maxson. Did you stand, Cheyenne? Stand? Okay, oh, she's standing in the back. recognize a senior. The story that I'm going to give you started last night at graduation. I'm going to give you a few more details. Three years ago I was asked to teach an American history class and I think it was a hand-picked class of people that truly wanted to um, destroy my life. Really. <laughs> it was awful. It was truly awful. And one student in particular was really mean to me. And I would go home and I would tell Dr. Golding, this person knows how to do teacher abuse really well. Really well. One day he had a presentation and he literally took tissue, stuck it up every crevice in his body from his clothes stuck it in his armpit and stood to do a presentation and I was aghast. I could not believe that. The next year, he was in my junior English class and continued to do that until about um, February or March after spring break. And then he began to write in his composition book, which he hated and told me how much he hated, that this was a good place for him to disclose his anger. <laughs> And so I read about his anger. Then the senior year came, and I truly believe Mr. Lamus hated me. Because he put Raphael and Ben in the same British lit class. <laughs> I thought I was going to die. <laughs> to my great surprise, both of these young men came and were leaders. They stood out. They came through. They started to write, and I saw some amazing English skills that I did not recognize before. Today, I want to recognize a person that has grown in reading, writing, speaking, listening, and I truly send him forth as a person well prepared for college, Ben Navarro. He abused me, he broke my heart, and now I love him dearly. 